Hey guys, what's up? I'm feeling a lot better. To catch everyone up, uh, I had strep throat, which is why I was partly really tired in my last video. Basically, what that means is, say someone sweated on me, or they didn't wipe down their uh, boxing gloves or something, I don't know, but somehow germs got into my body, and uh, basically my glands here, and back of my neck and my just breathing area here uh... <laughs> it just clotted up with white blood cells and put a lot of pressure on my throat and nose so breathing and eating were very uncomfortable but uh... i'm like ninety percent better but i'm still slightly sick so i'm gonna try to start working again and soon i will be getting a uh... laptop so that uh, I could intera interact more with people, because all I do, honestly, is, you know, wake up, go to work, chill out the house for, like, an hour, go back to work, go to bed. You know, and that's, that's not good at all. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I missed the, well, actually, it's going on right now, but um, the... U.S. Karate Team Finals. I, I miss that because, you know, right now I'm sick. So, no big deal. I can just get that uh, next year and spend all the money again. So, fun stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Right now, I am looking for another job because even though being a sous chef is great, uh, it's overall, it just seems like the work staff personally is kind of racist because if any of you have seen me work there uh, I'm the only white person even the manager or owner excuse me he does speak English as a first language but he's like Turkish or something I don't know what he is but he's from New York and so I'm like literally the only white person there so I I do face a lot of racism uh, because the waitresses, they're Japanese. The chef, the the head chef, he's Japanese. The uh, next chef after that is he's from Laos. He's okay. He he understands my pain. So, uh, in in the back, the kitchen chef, he's uh, straight up Mexican. So is so is his wife. And yeah, so far I'm the only white kid there. And so far, some of the comments that have been said to me from them kind of get under my skin. I'm not going to repeat them, but, uh, because I'm trying to keep this as vague as possible. But, uh, I am trying to, I am thinking about looking for a different job because even though I love, you know, cutting things with knives, it's, it sort of seems like a hostile work environment, especially, like, uh, they give me a menu and and they don't say what's on it on the menu like in the little description you know it says like blah 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 ingredients are in this well I've only been working there for about three weeks now and I constantly get complaints from people saying that this is not what they ordered and I'm sitting there going read the fucking menu so what I've done is I'm writing cheat sheets on different roles on how it should be then and even the even the owner and manager and everyone else says, yeah, we need to update our menu. I'm like, no shit. Because it's costing you money, it's costing me stress. So why is this even an issue? If you know it's already existed before I even came here. So, But yeah, where I might go after this? I might go to Best Buy, maybe uh, Academy Sports. Uh... Literally anywhere that, you know, you know, that really won't give me a whole lot of crap for, you know, one, being white, and two, untrained. Two things I can't control. So, uh, it's, uh, good to be back. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully I'll make more videos. See ya.